The reason why I teach programming and the reason why I like to program is not because I really enjoy the computer science part and the memory and optimizing and what is better and all that stuff. The reason why I do what I do is because I like to create and I like to teach people how to create. When you come up with an idea and you create a product and you give it to people and they use it, for me is like the best feeling I can have. So this is why I created this free course that we are announcing today, Firebase for Beginners. Hello, Nika. Nicolas and today we are going to talk about Firebase, when I would use Firebase and when I wouldn't use Firebase. By the way, this video is not sponsored by anybody. I just like to share the things I love. So, Firebase, if you don't know, basically allows you to make a prototype of your idea at super speed. This is because Firebase is like a backend as a service. And what that means is that they have many things that developers need, usually when they are making a website, and they have them ready for you to use. For example, they have a database ready for you to use. So you can just learn Firebase and use their database and you're going to be able to make any, any kind of CRUD, create, read, update, delete, that you can think of. It's also even real time and it's very, very powerful. So all that you can get without writing a single line of backend code, which is great. Another example is, and I'm not exaggerating, the fact that you can log users in, you can add authentication to your application using Facebook, Google, GitHub, email, password, phone authentication, all those things, you can set them up in less than five minutes without writing any single line of backend code, without learning how to get tokens, how to send cookies, nothing. You can get all that in less than five minutes. I'm serious, it takes me longer time to do the CSS of a website rather than enabling authentication, login, logout of my application if I'm using Firebase authentication. So that's basically what Firebase is. Firebase allows you to save time so you can build features and you can test your things faster. Now, when would I use Firebase? I would use Firebase when I need to prototype. And it's very important as programmers that we learn when to prototype and when not to prototype. The thing is that because we're programmers, we know that we can make the backend, we can make the frontend, we can make everything. But just because we can doesn't mean we should. Sometimes if you have an idea, for example, let's say you want to make a Tinder for dogs, let's say, maybe your idea is going to succeed or maybe your idea is not going to succeed. You need to test the idea, right? So instead of learning and making the whole frontend and the whole backend and maybe taking weeks or even months, what you can do is that you can build a prototype. And this is when I would use Firebase, when I need to prototype. So what I would do is I would use Firebase as a backend. I will use their user system as a backend, their database as a backend, and I will just build a frontend, a very simple frontend with all the features that I need to test. I will give that product to people and I will see if my idea has potential or not. The benefit of this is that most of the time our ideas are going to fail. This doesn't mean we shouldn't stop trying, but this means that we should make ideas as fast as possible. We shouldn't spend months years on an idea that we haven't tested. So this is why I really, really like Firebase and that's because it allows me, like I said, to save time. So if I have an idea, I can just make a prototype instead of in days or weeks, I can just do it in hours and then I can see if it has potential or not. That's the power of Firebase in my opinion. Prototyping super fast. And that brings us to when I would not use Firebase. I wouldn't use Firebase for something that I'm going to build as a real life product that I'm sure is going to succeed and that I have tested before. So for example, if I was going to build a Tinder for dogs, first I would make a very simple prototype on Firebase. I will give that prototype to people and if they like it, then I will take the time, the weeks, the months to make my backend and to make my frontend. This is not because Firebase is limited. This is not because Firebase is slow or nothing at all. This is because of control. When you are using something like Firebase, which is a backend as a service, you lose control. You get speed, but you lose control. And when you're making a big product, when you're making something serious, like for example, my website, nomadcoders.co, I want to have control of everything. I want to have an admin panel for my users. I want to decide which server I wanna go. I want to decide literally everything. When you are using Firebase, you don't have this option because again, you are gaining speed, but you are sacrificing control. If you are somebody that likes to create and has many ideas and likes to test, I would really recommend you to learn Firebase from our free course or from somewhere else because it's going to really allow you to think of something, make it and test it, which is something very important. And like I said, you wouldn't waste months, days, weeks. You can just have a prototype in a couple of hours, which is great. 
That's it for this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. Have you used Firebase? Are you going to use Firebase? Check out our course. I hope you like it. Like I said, it's free Firebase for beginners. We're going to make a small Twitter clone where we're going to make a CRUD. We're going to have profiles. We're going to have uploads and we're going to have user authentication. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Saranheo. Bye-bye.